Well, hi, howdy. Hello. Welcome to another quick session of ah, stretching, strengthening, and letting go of some stress with me. Hey, while I'm thinking of it, check out my Teespring t-shirt shop over at uh, spring.com slash angels t-shirt shop. There should be a link down there where you can find this beauty and others. It's getting a little nicely faded now. In fact, I've officially turned it into a work shirt. Oh, that's some dirt on there too. But in any case, love is contagious. So I hope you're remembering to love yourself a little bit more. Because you're worth it. That was a weird little bit more, wasn't it? A little bit more. Ear, ear. A little bit more. <laughs> Did I mention I'm still silly? I'm still singing my life a little bit. And I'm here to let go of some stress in my own body. Remind you that there's not one right way, not one wrong way. There are many right ways and many wrong ways to check in with yourself. Let go of a little stress. One of my favorite ways is moving the body. Singing, breathing, <sighs> laughing, smiling. <laughs> Let's do a little of those shaking things off. It's good. Let's start with a little shaking it all about. Let's do a little uh, little qigong esque breathing. I like to call it. I'm gonna. I'm working with. I'm working with what I got here with the camera angle. See if I can get any lighting back that way. And let's do some breathing in on the way up, and then a circle, and then a step back. <sighs> Brushing that energy back, and then I'm gonna step back forward, and then step into the right. <sighs> Just letting go of the past like it was yesterday. <sighs> I'm going to get in sync with the breath and do a few of those. <sighs> Feeling my lack of belt. That's okay. We all got bellies. It's all right. Noticing how that feels in the body. Just kind of letting the body calibrate itself, reset itself. Let's bring that energy back down into center. Let's do a little neck stretching. I'm going to have to reset that glaring light just a little bit. You could do a little hip shifting even though you can't see it. <laughs> just playing around, keeping it real playful today. That's my focus for today. I just decided it's my focus a lot of days, so <laughs> it's an easy, it's an easy default decision. Let's play a little bit more. Let's do some arm stretches too. While I'm thinking of it, bringing the left arm across the body and then holding on to it with the right arm. I'm gonna wiggle that shoulder around both from the waist and from the shoulder and from the wrist. And try some combinations thereof. We'll try one at a time from the wrist. It's kind of trying to relax that shoulder and make movement from this other hand. And then also from the shoulder itself. Get a different effect. Try to wiggle that around. And then also using the waist now, using the feet a little bit to move that shoulder around in space. I'm just noticing the differences. Mm, I'm going to stretch that out a little bit and then oh, shake that out. Give you permission to enjoy a heavy sigh or two. In fact, I encourage it. And I'm going to bring this other arm across the body. Ooh, got some pain and tension in that one. Going to 
give that a breath or two to just dissipate a little bit. And then holding on to that right arm with the left. Once again, just kind of wiggle it all about. Enjoy that. And then get a little more isolated, wiggling that wrist around, trying to relax the shoulder. And then we're moving that shoulder around, just supporting it with the left arm, going both directions if possible. Getting nice and awkward there, it's all right. Again, there's not one right way. Wiggling that around from the waist. <sighs> Noticing how the two sides are different, how they're the same, how they work together and sometimes how they don't. Mm -hmm. Let's do just a little bit of swing in now. Let's bring arms behind back, pressing palms together, rolling shoulder blades towards each other, rolling elbows towards each other, and then pulling down with those shoulders. I'm gonna push forward with the belly, letting the head drop back onto those shoulders a little bit if that's comfortable. Pulling the arms down and away from the body. Get a nice stretch through the shoulders. Try not to lock those knees. And we're coming back up to center. Let's just enjoy a little more wiggling that around. I'm going to step forward into a forward fold. Bring those arms with me. Ooh, that's some intense stretching for me. Letting go in the belly, still holding on to those hands and just enjoying a nice stretch through the chest. I'm gonna push from the bottoms of the feet, coming back up to standing. And I'm gonna release those arms. They're nice and numb and tingly now. Shake those out of it. Mm -hmm. Let's do a little work on these hard working hands. Give them a little, a little love, a little massage. A little just rubbing. See if your hands like to have your hands on them. Maybe give that extra, give that between the thumb and Forefinger L4, I believe that is. If I remember my points. It's been a while. Give that a nice squeeze. If you're anything like most people, there's probably some tension there. Might just give that a breath or two to dissipate a little bit if it hurts. Uh, get to where it's not so overwhelming, but it's okay to get into that tension. Maybe like somewhere around a six, seven, eight on a scale of one to 10 and then breathe into that. <sighs> and just release that. I, I imagine like breathing right into that tension, maybe even like feeling like I'm fluffing out the cells themselves with my breath. <sighs> and then releasing that, can feel that tension Letting go. Let's do one more of those on that side. <sighs> Whew. Just letting that go. Let's do a little on the other side. And then I have a little massage. I've been a lot of swollen hands. Let's give that L4 a nice squeeze. Again, that's in the body of the muscle. And yeah, there's there's a lot of a lot to it finding it exactly, but for now just get into that muscle. You may or may not hit the energetic point. It'd be probably a good chance you got some tension in there. If not, yay you. Won't hurt you then to hold it. If it does hurt, again look for that uh, somewhere in the six seven eight range, not towards overwhelming. If ten were overwhelming and you can't breathe. You don't want to not be able to breathe, but you want to get into some significant
tension and then breathe into that. And release. I'm releasing with the breath. I'm holding steady with this hand. And in fact, sometimes even like if I feel a big whoosh of release, I'm often able to increase as it was on this side. The other side, not so much. But uh, again, get into that around the seven, six, seven, eight, somewhere in there in the tension. And then breathing into it. Pushing into the cells and then ah, releasing that. And for me, that had a big release again on that side. So increasing the squeeze into that. Ooh, get some lightheadedness on that one. Just gonna release that. Let's do just some deep breathing in. Get the knees into it. Follow with the hands, a nice stretch up and then shaking that out. Just letting that hang. Let's do one more of those deep breath, breath in and hold at the top. <sighs> Smoothing all that out. It's a nice, nice energetic release session. Still working on the clap snaps. Mm-hmm. Don't forget that love is contagious. This and other uh, lovely inventions from my mind you can find over on Teespring, also on Etsy at sleepingdragonsco.com. Check it out. Also got some books on Amazon. If you want to support me, thank you. I appreciate you. If you don't want to support me, thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you for letting me be me. Thank you for being you. Don't forget to love yourself because you are worth it. And I'll be seeing you. Ciao for now.